Searching for answers, that's the mission of a father now demanding justice after his son died in a Broward jail earlier this year. 25-year-old Corbin Moberg died from a fentanyl overdose in January, but his family says that it took months to find out. NBC 6's Kim Wynn spoke with his father and his attorney and has more on why they say this shouldn't have happened in the first place. Kim. Yeah, Juwan, that's right. And this father says that his main question is how. How did something like this happen? And how did a drug as powerful as fentanyl get inside the jail? It's been long days, um, especially when I'm by myself. You think about it every day. Robert Moberg says the last seven months have been painful. Each day kind of drags out. It's really hard um, not knowing just going through each day and wondering like when this process will be over and when I'll get some answers. His son, 25 year old Corbin Moberg, was an inmate at the Joseph Conti facility in Pompano Beach. He had been there since 2022 on drug charges. He just made the one bad choice and now he's paying for it. In January, he was found unresponsive in his jail cell and was taken to the hospital where he later died. Moberg says it took months to find out Corbin died from a fentanyl overdose. Ever since then, he's been trying to figure out how. How did this happen? How does somebody who's incarcerated in this jail die of a fentanyl overdose? Moberg's attorney, Jim Lewis, says they want to know how a drug as powerful as fentanyl got inside the jail. They say they've been reaching out to the Broward Sheriff's Office for months, but aren't getting any answers. Did somebody else bring it in? Was it mailed in? Was it smuggled in? We don't know. BSL says the case is still under investigation and can't comment. Corbin's death is the latest case involving a family wanting answers about their loved one's death while in BSO custody. In February, the families of four men who died at Broward Jail within a six-week period held a news conference calling for an investigation into the jail system. These are just some of the Broward inmates that the Public Defender's Office says died in BSO custody since 2019. Some by suicide, some reportedly by natural causes, Others were undetermined. It seems like somebody's turning the head and uh, really not paying attention to what's going on. And the family attorney says that they are looking at possibly filing a lawsuit to get some of these answers. For now, we are reporting live in Pompano Beach. Kim Wynn, NBC6 News.